Welcome back to being Thief 2 Exile. So, really all we've got left is uh, one or two more wanted posters. We've got to find Nana. Uh, there is a loot goal, but I'm not going to chase that if we don't, you know, if that doesn't happen on its own. Uh, and then return to our room. So... I don't know exactly what to do to find Nana. That's not clear to me. It wasn't... I didn't find it explained anywhere. Um, I looked in the, th in the mission thread and there was some discussion of it. But none that addressed my particular problem of... I just, like... Don't quite know where I'm going with it. It's not here, I think, right? Where are we? Where are we? Let's go to the east side. Go around this way. Uh, what I do have is a map of all the wanted posters that was actually included with the mission. Um, it has a loot list and a map of where all the paintings and wanted posters found. I found all the paintings, so I don't need that. I'm missing, what was it, one wanted poster? Two. So it's possible... Well, I was going to say it's possible I'm just missing the ones from the shipyard. That's the churchyard. So there's an apartment overlooking the churchyard, right? Let's try ripping up there. Let's try not falling, because I have very few hit points. <laughs> Is there a window to this apartment overlooking this? There is an open window, look at that. Unfortunately, it's on the wrong side of this beam for me. Alright, let's... Oh, have I opened that? Maybe. No, okay. So this is probably where I need to be. <laughs> this will be Tittle's apartment, I guess. Right. Uh, light switch? Yeah, it's have lights off. Any bananas? No, there's a whole bunch of bananas and I can't eat a single one and I'm desperate for food. Right, someone's asleep there. Alright, and these cakes. Cool, food. Dang it, not a single hit point. Mm. Right in a diary before going to bed. Mm. She's, she's asleep in bed now. This is the locked apartment door, right? Yes. Alright, so that was this one marked on here. Key, second floor. Do I have this key? No, I still haven't found that key to the place above the, the other apartment above the bakery. That's right, okay, let's read a diary. 12th August. Luckily I found the apartment empty as it should be. This summer my relatives did not come into the city from the countryside, so I can spend a few days here before moving on. I sat down on the bed and thought things through again. Maybe it's not too late and I can return to Mr. Teller, to the swindling banker who cooperates with the mechanists at the expense of the city. No, no, I have to look ahead now. Things will quiet down in a couple of days and I'll be able to look for other work freely then, far from that depressing place that Mr. Teller calls his home, but was only a place of evil for me. Mr. Teller won't miss the little bit of money that I took from him, and I'll pay it back with interest as soon as I can. The hardest part of staying hidden is that I can't leave the apartment unless I absolutely have to. And if I do, then I have to avoid being seen. Condominium guards already know me from my previous visits, but on the streets the situation is more difficult. 15th August. I've been here three days and nothing has happened. I'm sure that the banker is turning over every stone to try to find me since he's very possessive and not likely to tolerate my escape. I just hope his reach doesn't extend this far. On the way from the market I decided that I wanted to get some fresh air in the abandoned Hamrite churchyard behind the house where I was unlikely to encounter anybody. I was standing in the shade of the wall and listening to crickets. Suddenly I noticed some people running. A girl darted from the alley, then a man in black came up behind her and stabbed something into her neck. The girl collapsed in a faint. The attacker dragged the unconscious body into the alley's shade, 
and looked back out into the street to see if anyone was around. At the same time, I heard some sounds coming from the abandoned church, as if something noisy was taking place inside. The man noticed this too and was apparently surprised because he quickly picked up the unconscious girl and hurried to the nearest sewer entrance in front of the tavern. I waited a little and followed him down into the sewers. Someone was waiting for him at the junction. They had a discussion that was just loud enough for me to hear them talking about a Dr. Stein. One said the girl must be taken to the doctor's lab, then suddenly turned towards me as if he thought he heard something. I didn't dare move in case I was seen, and soon they moved off towards the mechanist catchment. In the dim light thrown by the lamp, lamp, I saw a key fall out of one of their pockets. I waited until it was safe, then darted over and grabbed it, but I didn't dare follow them, so I don't know what it unlocks. It might be to the key to the lab they were talking about. I did not follow any further, since there was no question of where he took the girl. I did not know what to do. I'd probably better stay out of it, because I am a fugitive, and if I tried to do anything, I would luckily be discovered. For the time being, I put the key in my diary for safekeeping. 21st August. Six days have passed since the girl was kidnapped, and many policemen have been out on the streets. Meanwhile, there was a disturbance in the harbour, and the mechanists took care of it. I heard that they have a good relationship with the City Watch. I thought it prudent to remain in the apartment. My only connection with the outside is the rear shutter which overlooks the abandoned Hammerite churchyard. Sitting there, I can listen to the music of crickets. This evening, I again heard some noises coming from the church. I saw some Hammerites burst into the temple, then all was silent again. I did not know that there were still Hammerites around. 22nd August. I woke up this morning and went over the open window. Something has changed overnight out there. The church seems more desolate, and moss has covered the whole area. Some Hammerites stood in the quad as if they were keeping watch on the building. These Hammerites are really paranoid characters. So it's been the mechanist behind my problems this whole time. Well, what do you know, Garrett? A mech key from Tizzle. Alright, that is going to get us into Dr. Stein's lab, I guess. Nice teddy bear. Alright. <sighs> and let us go. Well, actually, no, let's not go that dangerous way that requires me to fall. Let's go out the front door, shall we? Silly. Silly guy. Alright, so we're in the condominium now. Um, there is, apparently, a wanted poster in here somewhere. Uh, I don't know if it's one I found or not. Let's go to the stairs. I wanted to go down to the street anyway. So we're going to head back to the mechanist's place, which is thankfully easy to uh, to deal with. Aha! Uh -huh, there is indeed a wanted poster here, so that's Nine. Um, there's also one on the western side of the western end of the condominium, which we can't easily get out of here, right? We've got the guard out the front. What's the best way out? This is just a dead end. Hmm. Get one of the balconies and drop down somewhere. No, that's not going to get me out. That's, that's nothing. Hmm? Hello? Wait, you coming? You're patrolling inside now? What the hell? Where are you going, man? That's the guy from the front gate. I mean, real sneaky, hide behind the curtains. Is he coming this far? He's going further. It's not coming upstairs. Nothing move there. Just rats again. So what are you doing, man? I don't know, but if you've left the front door, or... oh, maybe you haven't left the front door. There's more guard whistling out here. Has there been a guard in this place the whole time and I've just not noticed? I guess I haven't spent much time on this floor. Unfortunately, that door at the end is one of the doors I could use to get out. Safely. Let's just follow him out there, shall we? You... 
Let's go guard room with more food. Okay, uh, that's just a place I hadn't been. Right, eight pieces of food, one hit point. That's, well, half as good as the odds should be. Okay, that's... I have seen him before out there. Um, I didn't realize he patrolled. Okay, this is a good way down, right? Uh, I think... Yeah. That's pretty safe. Pretty quiet. Alright. We need to get to the mechanists, which are on the east. But I'm gonna just run around and see if we can't find... So I got that one to post up. Okay. Let's go to the shipyard. I'll just double check the two wanted poster spots in here. I'm pretty sure I got them both. And I'm not certain. Unfortunate that it took me so long to get into the city watch. I mean, it was one of my primary goals initially. One was there, and one was up on that patch. Okay, yeah, they're done. Um, no, don't see me, man. Don't see me. Thank you for not seeing me. Okay. Um, there's one in the market, which I'm pretty sure I got. Because it's opposite where the uh, two guards are. The watch station. Ah, yeah, that, that's the guy in the watch. Right, I've seen him before. I didn't realize the patrol's out of there. Right. That's the guy whose food I just stole. Okay, um, I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be the manic here on in terms of the posters. We'll get to the mechanists in a bit. But um, nah. So there was a wanted poster. Ah, there still is. Okay. That's the tenth one. All right, all ten posters. Okay, so now we need to head southwest. For some reason I was thinking the mechanists are in the northeast. No, they're in the southwest. My internal map of this place is clearly wrong. That's right, they're joining the shipyard because they have. Uh, Strong interest in the shipping of the place. What's the best way through? I just head down here, right? <laughs> 
See, this is what I don't like about this light gem. It's still got a very significant glow in it, even though I'm in full darkness here. The light gem looks quite lit. It doesn't read right. Okay, wait for this guy to turn around as well. Oh, well, we have the run of the mechanist place, right? We can just go wherever we want. Challenger walks in the front door now. Jordan, is that you? Okay, the lab door was here, was it not? No. Um. Maybe down this way on the right. Yeah, where this where we can hear the spot. Where's that key? Hello? That oh, was an elevator. Underneath this elevator? No, just noisy floor. Strange. Wonder what kind of work the mechanists do here. Oh. That is not a normal mech bot. A light switch here, I'd like to have the lights off. That was a humanoid bot with a sword. What am I reading here? Mm. There's a, a thing there, okay. Oh, dang it. Now I can't read it. Hey, I'm going to reload because I... I'm not allowed to read that again. So if he's charging, he's not active, right? Well, he's only got one arm. Can't be too dangerous. Problems with the face, though. Yeah, they're definitely doing uh, funky stuff here. My second experiment to create a mechanist soldier from a lowly guard was only partially successful. The end result is an ugly creature who is partially metal and partially flesh and blood. He exhibits hostile behaviour towards us and can only be controlled using gas. The problem is that the metal is not totally am amalgamated with the body. Therefore, I suggest the suspension of the experiments and the release of confined subjects while we obtain a more suitable metal. Aha. Uh -huh. That's what I was reading. My experiment called Project Nana was an attempt to create a powerful servant from a young, fragile female body, all the while keeping her beauty and human qualities intact. Failed. Before the last dose of serum... Uh, my, my experiment... Failed. Before the last dose of serum was administered. The body became irrevocably lifeless. These mechanists are just as bad as the hammers. No, they're worse. Dr. Stein, I think we might have gotten into a lot of trouble. The young girl we have is named Nana and is a noble. Those crazy bandits kidnapped her by mistake, and now an investigation has been launched into her disappearance, which short is leading personally. If they find out we took her, I will not be able to protect our reputation. The citizens will deny us access to the neighborhoods, and all of our work up until now will have been for nothing. Naturally, Karis must not know about this false step of ours either, because he will be angry that it makes his job even more difficult. Also, the girl knows too much. So I just suggest we shut her up permanently. Brother Armando. Hmm. Uh, 
Nana's necklace and the evidence. Okay, take the proofs to the shed. Sorry, Nana. Uh, I guess if we turn that gas off, it would be bad. It would be kind of funny. Oh, he's gone out. He's not coming after me. Is he going to go around slaughtering all the mechanists? That would be amazing. I mean, I knocked them all out, unfortunately. But, you know, when they wake up... They'll have someone fun to say hello to them. Oh, that would be good if I could just let them let them loose and slaughter all the mechanisms. That would have been amazing. Ah, uh, well. Unfortunately, then I had to knock everybody out before I found my way into the lab, huh? If I found... If I found, uh... Tessel's apartment there and that key much sooner, I could have had some fun. Oh, well. Alright, uh, so that is all our objectives. Oh, job find Nana. Oh, the job's not ticked off because we haven't returned everything. Um, so this is actually going to be the end of the mission. We haven't hit the 13,000 mark, but I'm not bothered about that. What we've got to do now is get back to our little shed just down the way here. Just down here, isn't it? Well, we haven't been everywhere in the mission. There's still a couple of locked doors I wasn't able to open, but... I think we've done our job, and we're going to get paid for it. So I think I will um, probably just merge this with the other episode. I don't know, actually. There's no necklace, and where's the evidence? Objective complete. Unfortunately, it was bad news. Alright, return to your room before dawn. Well... If I can remember where my room was... In here, wasn't it? <laughs> Optional didn't I get the thirty seven fifty. All right. Um, or I can continue. I guess if you see as this has a second part, I might as well just continue, right? Stats. Oh, 13,750 is the total in the mission. Oh, wow, okay. Um, that's If you're smart, no, no. If you are obsessively searching everywhere, you can have 37,550. Uh, it's not the same as smart. Secret found, 4 out of 10. Uh, anyway, I mean, if I can earn, you know, more than 10,000 in a single night, Karis's, uh, not Karis's, uh, Constantine's offer of 100,000. It just doesn't seem very big. It's like, eh. He's offering me, you know, a week and a half's pay. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's just my personal uh, feeling about ridiculously high loot amounts. Let's see what happens next. Uh, of course, we're going to need to sneak aboard this Cetus Amicus. Part 2, the next sunset. Let's discover the seagull's destination. Make sure no one, no one notices you. Infiltrate Cetus Amicus and hide in a safe place. Oh, 
Oh, this is daylight in the port. Okay. How come I decided to pull down here? Do I have the same equipment or different? It's new equipment. Okay. It was supposed to be dawn that we were supposed to be getting in here, but... My problem is, I've forgotten where uh, the way in was. Uh, not down here, I think. Yeah, that would be a possible way in, but it does not seem like a good way in. We wanted to try and get to the windows, right? Slope at slipping ladders are really bad. This don't work properly as ladders. Reliably enough. Do you see both both going down when I didn't grab onto it and going up it when I uh Now to be on my way. Yeah, but how, Garrett? How? Going up it when at first it was like kind of going up a step by step instead of climbing it. How do we get around the other side of this? I mean, I guess there's nobody about. I can go down there. Oh, I didn't even notice the ship there. Hmm, there's people on it. But shouldn't I, uh, there's the seagull. I need to discover its destination, right? So before we try and slip into the submarine bay, we need to go check that out. Almost everybody's on the far side of the dock, which is good for us. That moss crystal hasn't regrown, has it? No. Ah. I need to be a little bit careful there, too. There's, uh... Combat bots and something. Okay, so our, f our friend with the sword arm did not. Uh... Hmm. How am I going to get aboard the seagull? Oh, there's guards there too. Just be careful. I could throw a rip arrow in. There's our engineer looking. Well, they seem busy with the machine, but I'm not sure I trust that. And that's got metal. Is that metal at the top? No, that's wood. I'm gonna stick a rope arrow in the front here. It looks darker, and we'll be behind this guy. Hopefully, that's good enough. Swimming time. It's just like Captain Davidson's ship. Except, uh, and just like his, they've got the masts on backwards. It's terrible. <laughs> Who's going to be more attentive? Him or these guards? Pirates look more like. Ah, uh, I can't even problem block. There's the hold. Pillows. Beautiful pirate flag. Alright, captain's cabin. 
Chests in the usual spots. Ah, listen, the chest is a wash basin. And Davidson is more generous than you, hello. Twelfth July, we were about halfway to our destination when we came upon a small island. We went ashore and a small group of natives welcomed us. We ate, drank and had fun all night long. When we left the next day, the chief gave us, gave us presents of coloured uniforms. We promised that we would wear them. At least they'll be different than those old Ramirez-style uniforms. 5th August, the mechanists brought a huge machine onto the deck and we had to leave Eastport quickly to sail over to Westport with the important freight. We were not told what it was, and that was of no interest to us. All we needed to know was where to deliver it. 12th August. I would like to know what kind of metal we are transporting for the mechanists. It's only the size of a single brick, but it weighs as much as ten. It's as hard as diamond, and it's black, but has an eerie, shiny glow to it. It was discovered on the ice fields far away in the Arctic that were unoccupied in the past, but now the mechanists have gained a foothold there. 22nd August. This is ridiculous. The mechanists reassigned us to Westport, and we have to deliver that huge metal monster again. This time the destination must be kept secret. Why must we take that machine to the forge? Maybe they want to create a half-human creature from it like those stupid servants of theirs. This will not end well. Maybe we should get out of this business now and go back to being pirates. Huh. Not so secret anymore, is it? Is it? Do you know where the forge is, Garrett? I don't. Alright. See if they got any valuables down here, shall we? You? Not many. Being a pirate probably paid better. Cannons, hooray. Wait, can I, can I look inside these or are they just empty? I don't know, like, again, there's been inconsistent container use in this mission. Difficulty of containers just give you everything as soon as you uh, open them. But, um, just like the one in the captain's cabin, some of the ones here have stuff, individual items in them. This hold is dusty, I just sneezed. Repair is cool, cool. Alright, I think we've got everything we can from this ship. Sneak back off the way we can. Well, we didn't have to be the same as the way we can. We can. Curse sake, is there someone there? Of course not. What a ridiculous idea that would be. End. There's the bars, there's the mechanist area. There's a ladder here, right? Yeah. I'll do. Don't know if maybe there's more to be found up that end. I mean, if you sneak around there, there's someone over there, like remnants of the party and stuff. Maybe, maybe you could find loot. I want to. Do I dare risk it? I can't easily get back onto those pipes, right? That pipe's broken now. Well, maybe I could easily get up onto it. Let's let's have a go, right? We, we've got a couple of climbing implements available to us, I think. 
this one. I think there's another liftable crate somewhere. Is it? Is there a crate in here I could pick up? No, I don't think so. So maybe this isn't going to work. Oh, and there's the uh, gas coming out. It's probably going to hurt me. Probably not a good idea to try. Probably not the intention. The other possibility is I just go knock these two guys out. Which I don't really have a problem with. As a concept, it's kind of off mission. Let's let's stay in character. Let's not bother with going over there when we have somewhere to be. Yeah, that one I can't climb with. Then maybe this one I can climb with. All right. If if I can try, I'll try the experiment. Right. We'll see if we can do this. I don't think it's the right thing to be doing. I don't think it's the, what I ought to be doing. But I'm going to try it. See if we can mantle from there onto this. No. And if we try it at this end. <laughs> probably gonna find the stuff hurts, right? No, we just can't can't get up high enough. Okay. Never mind. Never mind, he says. Actually, I don't need to sneak past those guys, right? I can swim past them. There's another ladder at the far end. Let's let's swim. I forgot about swimming. Superpower. Can't knock those guys out. They've got the new fancy helmets. Damn it! The sun's already up, and you don't need the street lights on as well, guys. Once again, they're seeing me through the building. Should not happen. Look at that. We get food. This is worth every. I don't know if it's worth anything, but I did recently play a mission with to use these wine bottles. That's valuable, so uh, it confuses me. I mean, in theory, I could go climbing up on these again. Was that pipe there before? I don't remember that pipe being there last time. Would have made it a lot easier to get it in. No, because I roped my way up here. I roped straight from this side, from right here. Hmm. Do I want to go climbing? Kind of. Well, but also kind of not. We're here. We should do it. We don't have our slow fall potions, right? No. 
do have one healing potion, but we need to be very careful about getting down. Might involve leaving some repairs behind. We did get two more on the ship, so it should be okay. <laughs> and it was all for naught. Is there anything on that balcony? It doesn't look right yet. Yeah. Right, well, good thing I saved back there because this might kill me. <laughs> Alright. Um. So just abandon this rope? I think I just abandoned this rope. No, actually I should be able to get that out. I should be able to reach that from here, right? Just doesn't jump? Yeah. No problem. Okay, well... So able to come over here, we've got some food. I don't think there's anything else uh, to grab. None of those guys have pockets to pick, right? That would be, uh... Nobody. Alright, let's get back on, on the job. We have a submarine to catch. It'd be great to get back in the lab and release our uh, one-armed friend again. Oh, they've got two combat bots here now, okay. Warning! Last night HQ was broken into. It seems to have been just a robbery, but we have yet to discover what the intruder was after. As a result, all guard patrols must be doubled until departure to avoid sabotage. Hmm. Yeah, you do that. You keep Karis happy. Appeared to be mere robbery. I mean, I basically did everything possible. I <laughs> knocked everybody out in the building. I did steal everything I could lay my hands on, that's true. And this one could be hazardous. Climb up it and jump off it backwards. Get a bit higher so we actually just jump on the ledge. And not worry about the noise. Let's see what's on the roof. <sighs> Let's see what's on the roof when we fail mantling. Thanks, Garrett. Uh, empty bottle. And nothing. So we could get onto the pipe from here, but it would hurt. And yeah, it's, that side is blocked up. We can't we can't use this to traverse anymore. Quite sure. I'm just gonna do the experiment anyway. It's a little too far to fall. No problem. Okay. So we have the window unlocked. I mean, given they were after the burglar, you would have thought they would have double-checked all the windows, so... The whole thing about uh, keeping it open. Do I want to waste moss? I have 11. I think they're not going to hear me. Well, 
It's still open. Inside at last. Those mm. are good. Cetus amicus. Yep. Friendly whale. We're gonna have to go in from the undersea hatch, I think. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's anything up there we need. Do we just dive in and swim for it? Seems like maybe the best plan. Let me try climbing out and walking around afterwards. I don't see another way down from this ledge, so. Dive hatch. <gasps> what are we trying to do? Make sure no one notices you infiltrate and hide in a safe place. Well, I've got to make sure no one notices me. We're better off just doing the infiltration, right? And leaving the shipyard behind. Maybe there's something to be found. Probably there's something to be found, but... Let's... Keep discretion as the better part of thievery. Well, there's anything to be looted on here. You know, I'm gonna try. Got these lockers again. Don't know if that counts. Can't take those. Hmm. It's weird. Why you put flash bombs in that I can't take? The idea of choose which locker you want to start in. Not the one with bedrolls. compass. Strangely familiar. <laughs> so still have the state rooms. Oh, it's valuable and I can't steal it. What is going on? Place like these can provide good cover. Right, well that's where I need to hide then. I suppose. I guess. I guess what's going to happen is I'll be able to take the uh, stuff in the lockers afterwards. Seems to be nobody on board, and also no loot on board. I mean, maybe it would give me, give me away if I stole stuff before we left, huh? Might be unwise. And I can't. It's all glued down. Alright. Clearly, we want us to do one thing only. Time to go. Uh, there was a little more loot somewhere, another 50, 60. 
Alright. Oh. I guess that's setting up for part three. I didn't realize that it ended that abruptly. Well, that's a cliffhanger. Um, I guess we have to... I don't know if there's a third part. I have to go research. I'm going to have to play the first part too, and maybe I will... I will probably play the first part and then put the videos for that up first before this one. Yeah, well, we'll see. Either way, that was Being Thief 2 Exile by Sensit. Uh, so thanks very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you here soon for the next mission.